Okay, so I want to give you your Outlook tip of the week. Again, we're going to be giving tips until our first class on the 13th. And quite often I tell people that you should be able to see the bottom of your inbox. And I think, oh, you've got to be kidding. But no. And one of the reasons you're not able to see the bottom is because you have everything flowing into the inbox. You're not using rules. You're not using quick styles. We're going to talk about all of these things in our Outlook class. But one of the things I want to show you with this tip is how to let certain messages skip the inbox. They should flow into another folder or they really should go to deleted items. Even better, they should just be deleted without even going to the deleted folder. So what do I mean? Let's say that I get this email from Scott and I really don't want to see emails from Scott. So all I need to do is right click on this, go down to rules, click on create a rule. Now I can tell Outlook when I get something from Scott, go ahead and do something for me. I could select a folder and move it to the item to a certain folder or I could go with advanced options and I'll go ahead and click next because there's an option saying delete this message. So when I get something from Scott, delete it. Now in this case it's going to go into my deleted items folder. Now quite often there are emails we received, of course I'm just picking on Scott, but we don't really need them to go in deleted items folder. We don't need to unsubscribe, just permanently delete. Now when you do that, you're going to get this message from Outlook saying, okay now wait a minute, all messages deleted by this rule will be gone from your mailbox with no way to retrieve them. Are you sure that's what you want? Absolutely. Many of us spend so much time unsubscribing, which of course we could get right back on that same list, but you don't have to do that. Just permanently delete that message and say yes. So that's something that you really want to be able to do. Say finish and you're done. Of course, I'm not going to take action, so I'm going to say no to this and click out. But you kind of get the idea. I have quite a few items that go straight to deleted items. And I just really, they're not all spam messages. I just don't have time to look through them. Here's a good example of that. Help a reporter out. Quite often I get, I voluntarily signed up for their list. But look how many messages come in from help a reporter out. And I'm just not in a stage where I can help a reporter out. So I've sent that message for now straight to my deleted items. Before I empty my trash can, I'll probably just glance through some of the emails that I have coming to this mailbox permanently. But again, I hope this tip helps you because again, it's all about trying to get your email cleaned up. And I hope that you're able to do that and we'll be giving you more tips as we approach Microsoft Office Week. Thanks for watching.